Oh, welcome back to a Boeing Revolution, your number one news source for everything to do with the Boeing company and, of course, Elon Musk. Thank you for joining me. My name's Will. We have a new predictions episode today, so let's get going. Right then, weekly predictions episode number six. So, weekly predictions, what do we do? We predict something we be believe is to be the case with the Boeing company. Usually, it's based on maybe something Elon Musk has said in the past, or common sense. And then we look back at it in 12 to 18 months' time. Now, we're going to look back at a prediction I predicted not so long ago, together with a new prediction, which I believe I'm fairly confident will happen. What is that prediction? Prediction number six, first of all. The Boeing company will utilize Tesla's new 500 kilowatt mega charger. Now the rumor is that they will release a new 500 kilowatt mega charger in either January or February of next year. 500 kilowatts is a lot bigger than what was previously offered, 145 kilowatt hours. Or however, that is actually very fast. So boosting it to 500 kilowatt hours is brilliant that would be a 245 percent improvement on the previous tesla supercharger now why would they utilize such a powerful mega charger on this project well for the project to function co correctly they will need 500 kilowatt hours or greater now the rumor is 500 kilowatt hour i presume it will be maybe bigger than that but we're going to say 500 for this episode so most of the pods will be in heavy use 16 hours a day obviously uh between sort of 10 o'clock at night and say six in the morning i can't imagine that many people will be using it but most pods will be in continuous use they will have a high battery range however if they're being used regularly uh, you know, 10, 15 times an hour, uh, that's going to degrade the amount of energy in the battery quite considerably. Therefore, they will need to be charging every two to three hours, maybe every three to four hours. Therefore, they will need some kind of fast charging system. 500 kilowatt hours is about right to achieve that. Um, we're talking around a nine minute charge to achieve at least 80, 85% charge in that battery. Using less pods equals more profit. Now you could run the system with say four or 500 pods and then you'd have a hundred pods in reserve. So those hundred pods are always charging and then you swap out pods as and when others run out of charge. However, that's not very efficient because you need to manufacture more pods either manufacture more pods or have more um, that more more actual range in the battery. Therefore, it makes more sense to have a fast charge, to have, say, a 200 or 250 kilowatt hour battery, and then to fast charge it for nine minutes, three, maybe four times a day, and you can keep those pods in circulation pretty much all day, as and when you need them. Number three, it works well with large batteries. Large batteries can absorb that fast charge a lot better than small batteries. If you have a small battery and you put 500 kilowatts into it, it will cook the battery. That battery will heat up too quickly. The chemistry of that battery will change. Therefore, it will only last maybe four or five years. If you have a big battery, you could easily get maybe 12, maybe even 15 years out of a battery if it is big enough and you can continually pump it with 500 kilowatts. So therefore, it is a lot more practical to use this system with a large battery like those in the pods. Now, battery degradation. I have seen some data from Teslanomics. Battery degradation isn't, isn't even worth considering that much, even using superchargers. It, it is a fallacy. If you charge properly, if you keep the battery above 15%, and if you never charge it above 90%, you're gonna get lots and lots of range out of that battery. You're going to be able to charge it at least, you know, a few thousand times without seeing much damage. In a tunnel, the conditions are a lot better. You've not got extreme heat and extreme cold like outside. It is 
a cool temperature, which is perfect for charging. Therefore, it, it, you know, it is a fallacy. They can rapidly charge the batteries using 500 kilowatts and they will have no problems for a good 12 to 15 years. So why not use it? Uh, my final thoughts. The pods will automatically dock themselves and charge three to four times a day. Now, if you remember, Tesla have that snake charger. They will upgrade that so they've got a mega charger inside it. And that will work perfectly. Although even if they have people standing there charging the pods, it's not going to necessarily be a bad thing. Just as long as they achieve the 500 kilowatt hours. Uh, charging and thermal cooling technology is progressing beautifully. Now, the technology that thermally cools the battery has progressed greatly in the last two, even three years. It's improved uh, by a great deal. Ultimately, it will continue to improve. So maybe 500 kilowatt hours will seem quite small in the next five to 10 years. But in this instance, this is what we can use. It's not gonna degrade the battery. It's gonna be absolutely fine. And thus it will be a super quick charge. Thank you for watching guys. Please like and subscribe as always. Subscriber numbers are continually going up, which is excellent for this channel. Keep commenting below. I do enjoy talking to you guys. Please keep it up. If you have any questions, if you want to talk about the video or if you want me to do a video about a particular thing, please tell me and I will try to do it. So again, I appreciate the feedback. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Yeah, oh. Unfortunately, I have a feeling the prediction I made about the Giga factory in Sparks, Nevada, manufacturing the pods is going to be incorrect because some new information has come to light. Unfortunately, that how it, that's how it is, guys. But maybe, it, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, if you go back to that video and watch it, I would definitely uh, recommend doing so. It's a good little video. The Boeing Co. pods will probably be manufactured in Lathrop. California. Now you, you're probably wondering, Lathrop, where's that? Well, that is east of the Fremont factory and it is <clears throat> within about two to three hours drive of the Giga factory. So it's kind of, it's not quite in between the two, but it is very close and it is in the perfect area for building a new Giga factory. Here we are. So this here is is the current facility. It's around 800,000 square meters that Tesla is currently building. However, there is so much land. Look at this huge plot of land here. This factory, I believe, is near enough empty. Huge plots of land here. Plots of land all over, down here to the south as well. Massive potential. Um, and it's an industrial area already because you have all these facilities here massive potential for a huge gigafactory maybe 10 maybe even 14 million square feet it is a huge area just having a look at this close up here you can see this used to be a glass factory which is already quite a big area but then you have all this area here this area here to the south massive potential for building a huge gigafactory to manufacture the model y to manufacture the semi semi truck to manufacture the actual pickup truck and obviously to manufacture the Boeing company pods it, it could have its own little facility somewhere over here just manufacturing you know five or six pods a day and that would be absolutely fine because they'd have all the battery supply units they have the paint shop that all be around here and that would be perfect so Thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate that. Tell me what you think about that Gigafactory. It's been heavily rumoured. Uh, I put a video on the Twitter feed if you want to watch that, just to see how large that area is. There's plenty of potential for Tesla to expand there. There is also a railway line and a, a dual carriageway that links the area. So in all areas, it is perfection. And the land is very cheap. You can't really go wrong. Thank you for watching. Don't be boring, guys. I will see you next time. Goodbye.